Here's one. Here's one. I'd like to call to order the Rose Township regular meeting at 7 p.m. Rose Township is located at 9080 Mason Street. Today is 8, April 13th, 2022. Um, could I have a, well, would anybody like to stand and say the Pledge of Allegiance? 
pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Can I have a roll call, please? Mr. Gamka? Here. Ms. Miller? Here. Mr. Noble? I'd like to make a motion to excuse Trustee Roble, Noble. Second. Ms. Walls? Yes. Ms. Scheibsider? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I have a motion on this table to uh, excuse Trustee Noble. All in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? All right, motion carries. First thing on the agenda we have is the approval of the agenda. Um, I have a change on the resignation. I wanted to uh, put Pete Stuffer. He's resigning from the ZBA. I just didn't add his name there. Um, please don't disrupt the meeting. Thank you. Um, and uh, so that's the only change I have for the agenda itself. I move to approve the agenda as I, amended. Excuse me. I would like to add uh, item K under new business. The uh, payment of the bill for Finkel Whitefield Feldman. Two bills. I'd like to just keep that under uh, approval of the consent agenda where we approve the bills okay. per, the, per the attorney's opinion. Move to approve the agenda as adding Mr. Selker's name. Motion from Malls. I support. Support from Gamka. All right. Can I roll call, please? Mm -hmm. Ms. Miller, yes. Mr. Gamka? Yes. Ms. Walls? Yes. Ms. Scheibsider? Yes. Motion carries. Now the consent agenda. Uh, approval of the consent agenda. The two attorney bills to be added for discussion while we discuss this. Um, there are two bills. Mm -hmm. Pull the minutes of March 9th. You want to just discuss them? Uh, I can. Okay, let's go ahead and discuss the minutes of March well, 9th. Well, on the first page, there's reference to North Oakville County Fire, Fire Authority, NOCFA, and then we go through NOCFA, NOCFA, and the NOCFAs are not both the same. They need to be delineated which one is which. Where first, are you at? One is the first page under presentation. Vice President of the North Oakland County Fire Association. Some are the fire association and some are, are the NACPA and they need, they need to be separated in the comments as to which NOCFA. You're going to have to use a, another moniker for one of them. It would be NOCF. And which one are you referring to, Ms. Wells? Read it. It's under the presentation. I already did read it. The first one would be stri stricken. You're using NOCFA for two different organizations. <coughs> right. Probably the second one would have to be NOC, North Oakland County. Uh, I guess it's the same thing. Well, when he gave his presentation, I thought it was the same thing. Is he here tonight? I can ask him. We don't need his input. We can decide this. Well, the North Oakland County Fire Authority is not the same as the, the North Oakland County Fire Association. Fire Association. They're not the same thing. I'm well aware of that. I paid the bills. Oh, are you really? Okay, so what we could do is... <laughs> What we could do is just Mine. strike the first NLCFA and then explain what, and just put it uh, just in North, write, North write Oakland it County Firefighters Association. Just write it all out. Yep, spell it out. Spell it out. Bring it back next month and we'll look at it. Is there another one on there? There's you don't bring it back next month. Yeah, you do. Biden and we'll no, you the firefighters. There's all kinds of them. You, you, you know, there's just all kinds of them all through here. Well, tonight is the night to approve March's minutes. You don't bring back in May for March. Tonight is your only bite of the apple. Okay, so just so any changes, corrections, okay. they have to be made this evening. No, they don't. 
Yes, they do. Okay, let's just approve the uh, removing NLCFA and, and instead inserting um, North Oakland County Fire Association, Firefighters Association. How's that? It needs to be spelled out. There are two different organizations. Right, that's what I said. Remove that and then spell it out. Okay. From all the spots that say NLCFA. Okay. And there's one, two, three, three areas, three spots. You see six. Because it says the objective of the association is the continuation of the fire authority, which that should that should be NLCFA. Yeah, but that's what it actually says. His objective. Is. And the one thing says the continuation of the fire board authority. In the line line three under presentation, it says fire board authority. Right, there is no such thing as a fire. That, but I think that's what he said, though, so. Okay, so we have a motion to remove in the presentation all the NLCFA and insert North Open County Firefighters Association. Is that okay? Okay. Okay, all in favor say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Miller's opposed. Motion carries. Um, we're going to be adding those bills for Pingle, Whitefield, and Falcon. Yeah, we're going to discuss them for, for the two thousand six hundred twenty-five dollars and fifty cents and one hundred sixty-two twenty-five. Correct. And there was some. Statements made here last month that uh, we never had authority to hire an attorney for not good business. I have the motion here. No, you had the authority to hire an attorney for contract negotiations. Is that what it says? And that's what I said. Motion by Trustee Noble to authorize the supervisor and or treasurer to obtain a labor attorney or consultant that specializes in labor negotiations in the amount of $30,000 set by Treasurer Gampa. It doesn't say state what it's for even. <clears throat> and that's something I checked on before I took the Articles of Incorporation uh, to him. I move to approve the consent agenda with the changes to the minutes and paying of the bills, including the Finkel White Bill Feldman bills for $2,625.50 and $162.25. Support. Motion from Walls. Support from Gamka. Can I have a roll call, please? No. I said I wanted to discuss it. Oh, go ahead. I, this bill There's came in at 3 o'clock before the meeting in March, which I said, what is this, Diane? I've never heard of this company. I read this off. This was clearly um, retaliation, trying to get rid of the fire the fire chief. <laughs> then I got another bill the other day for another $162.25. Mm -hmm. Then I got an approval from you to change the account from 101 to 809 Change it to professional services. Well, 805 is professional services for architects. Right, that's what and we put it And it should have been under. paid under 289804 the So that's attorney fees, but there's not enough money in there right now. No, there's the $35,000 is there's under that line item. Excuse me, I was talking. There's $35,000 under 805, Professional Services Architect. Mm -hmm. Under 804, Attorney Fees, there's only $1,846. It comes out of that account. We discussed it during budget time that that's what that was going to be used for. Okay, then I got an email from Diane Saturday. Hello, all. Debbie asked me why I did not pull the Finkel, Whiteman, Feldman attorney bill on the agenda. I did not because we already have a place to approve the bills on the agenda. 
I ask for John's opinion since it was shared publicly by Clerk Miller at their last meeting and read without redaction. Below is John's opinion. John Mulvihill is our attorney. He's right here. And it says, Diane, per your question related to the invoice of Finkel Whitefield et al. as a bill payable by the township, I see the payment of bills is identified under C on the April 13, 2022 agenda items, which is customary. I submit that any board member can discuss or raise questions related to a bill set for payment. Underlined, an attorney's bill, however, should not be discussed in an open meeting without the opportunity to redact any information that may be cloaked by the attorney-client privilege. Further, the township has a right to redact privilege information from an attorney bill in response to a FOIA request. It is my understanding the retention of this firm was approved by the township board. Yes, this was approved by the township board, but not for uh, Diane's purposes, what she called the attorney for. That was clearly uh, some type of personal agenda that you have. No, it's it absolutely was, uh, not. Excuse me. Okay, go ahead. Um, you're trying to... You're trying to get the taxpayers to pay for this. This was a personal vendetta against uh, Chief Lintz. And that's what you're trying to this say. This is misappropriation of funds, Diane, and it's illegal. No, it's not. I, as a township supervisor, it's my due, it's my due diligence to go and look into the articles of incorporation. When people are talking about pulling from this authority, it's, I am able to go and um, inquire about. The if, Articles of Incorporation, if, if separation. If I would have found that bill and read that last month, you would have redacted, you could have redacted, which you cannot do. You cannot redact attorney bills. Yes, you Everybody, can. No, you bills can't. Bills are Everybody. not protected. Yes, they are. They are not. No, they're not. Absolutely not. Yes, it's they are. It's not work product, and work product is protected, but not the invoices. Well, regardless, I used him for looking to the chief's contract, articles of incorporation, and the bylaws, and talk, we talked about separation. Because everybody was saying Rose Township needs a plan, and I agree, Rose Township needed a plan if Holly was to say they were pulling out of the authority. I read this I also bill wanted last. to look into count, uh, somebody to um, talk about, can we actually have our own fire department if necessary because I didn't want to be sitting here uh, without a plan. So I was looking into a plan and part of that plan is looking into the chief's contract, the articles of incorporation, and separation issues. Mm -hmm. call and, question. and so I use a union attorney to do so. I'm going to call the question. So we'll okay. No. Roll call. This is clearly Roll. a personal vendetta against Chief Lentz, the whole entire bill. I know that's what everybody has been trying to paint it to be exactly for the last three years. That is, and, it, and it is well, a that's misappropriation your, of that's funds. That's your opinion, it's and illegal. I'll tell you you're it's wrong. It's illegal. No, look it up. <laughs> Can we have a... Roll call. Roll call, please. This is the sharks I was speaking of. No. Please. Roll call. What is your motion? To, um, Pat, you made the You motion. want to approve the payment of this bill? No, I'm approving the consent agenda with the changes to the minutes and adding the Finkel Whitefield Bellman bills for $2,625.50 and $162.25. You're adding payment of that bill? Yes. After I just told you it's a misappropriation of funds? That's your opinion. Not my opinion. It's your opinion. <laughs> okay. Opinion. Okay, that's your motion. And um, who is the uh, second? Gamma? I'll second it. Wow. Okay. Orange jumpsuits. All right. I need a roll call. Ms. Walls? Yes. Mr. Gamka? Yes. Miller? No. Schreibsider? Yes. Motion carries. John, do you want to add anything to that? No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, next we have um, public comments. Um, public comments can be made on things such as unfinished business and the new agenda items only, comments only, and we have a three minute limit that this board has decided upon. Does anybody have any public comments on agenda items? I do. Go 
My name is Dan Johnson. I live at 8635 Tipsico Trail. And I'm going to put this under the resignation topic because I asked that it be added to the board. And the resignation topic on the agenda doesn't clarify what it is. It does. We just approved it. Pete Stouffer, ZBA, in the, in the motion. You just approved it. Yes, we did. I, so if, if, it's, if it's about Steve, Pete Stouffer, then you can go. Okay. I'll wait till the end, and we'll be here till midnight. Okay. Well, actually, we only can go till 5, 1030, but. No. Yeah. yeah. No. That's our policy. Yeah. You got some Is it in writing? Yes, it is. And is it posted on the website? I don't know. That would be her job. Go ahead, John. We'll have a meeting without Chairman DeJoy. My name is Chester Coop. I live on Eagle Road, and I've been a Rose Township resident for 45 years, and from time to time I've been known to get involved in the community. I would, uh, my, my comments apply to uh, section item 2C, Bill Pang. And um, try to keep it brief. I question the wisdom of the board's 9821 decision to spend $30,000 of township funds to retain its own labor attorney relevant to the upcoming negotiations between NACFA and the Firefighters Union. This is an, un this is an unnecessary expense for the township, and that costs associated with contract negotiations are borne by the employer and the, and the union. The need to retain the services of a labor consultant or an attorney or utilize other resources should be determined and paid for by NACFA. They are the employers, not Rose Township. Secondly, in its approach to negotiations, the NACFA board uh, should be acting as a, should be working collaboratively, utilizing these resources and experts. Those experts that they retain for, the, for the, these purposes should there be to represent the best interest of NACFA and not one community over the other. To do otherwise will only continue, if not widen, the current schism between the two communities. I would like to suggest that before you spend any more funds of this $30,000, that the uh, board uh, have their representatives of, of NACFA or on the negotiations sit down with the entire NACFA board and negotiating team and determine who those experts should be, if any are needed, and what resources they intend to utilize. Thank you. Anybody else on new business or old business comments? Yep. Go ahead. Mike Maher, 7855 Water Road, about 30-year resident of Rose Township. I'm new to the cemetery committee. Um, didn't write any notes, but there's two uh, cemetery committee folks that aren't here. They asked me to uh, read the, uh, their letters. So first one's Jan Jensen. Rose Township Board, due to past experience, we've been very unsatisfied with the work done. It has been your choice to take the lowest bidder each time, and that is not proved successful. Uh, we need someone that takes pride in the work and the cemeteries. I would suggest that you choose TPC because of the work he's done with pride in the past and the care he takes in the cemetery. His previous care of the cemeteries was noticeable by the residents. I've been involved with the cemetery maintenance. I'm sorry, you guys. I got copies of that. I'm going to have some while you want. Um, um, I've been involved with the cemetery maintenance and records for many years, have been disappointed in the past two years with the unkempt appearance of the cemeteries. Not my letter, this is lifelong resident of Rose Township, Jan Jensen. And one more. Uh, dear Honorable Board, so it's dated April 3rd when the letter was drafted. Unable to make the April 2022 board meeting, but as a member of the cemetery committee, I am compelled to voice my opinion in regards to the long cutting contract for the three township cemeteries. All in one, was the low bidder received the contract in 2020? Uh, you already have them. I received many complaints from the residents and relatives of the buried. Uh, Clerk Deb Miller received more than I. The complaints ranged from poorly cut grass, lack of trimming around the headstones, to many other differing complaints. They did not follow the contract they signed, and the work they did was poorly executed. 
I inspected the Rose Center Cemetery after receiving a complaint to find large sections of grass as tall as my knees the day after they cut it. And she says I can support, uh, supply photos upon request. There were two complaints I received regarding damaged headstones. I did not walk through the cemeteries to see if any other damage occurred. There was lack of respect for the deceased. After the season was over, the committee unanimously agreed we would never request to use all in one again. Four Seasons was the low bidder and received the contract in 2021. They started the season with trying to get away and cheating the system, only blowing and trimming once a month instead of following the contract. I personally fielded 20 to 30 complaints, not I did, but Renee did, 20 to 30 complaints uh, with the relatives of the deceased, some in tears, some angry, uh, and I know Deb Debbie Miller received more complaints than I did. The complaints ranged from uncut, uncut sections to stones being blown off and damaged. Several times I inspected the cemeteries to find damaged and moved stones. The person on the mower would try to turn the corner and hit a stone and move it as much as three feet and not even stop to put the headstone back in position. There was damage to at least 10 headstones. The committee unanimously decided we would never ask Four Seasons to receive the bid again. Um, I would ask this honorable board to choose the third lowest bid, Tim Klaus, who's received the bid many times in the past. We've received no complaints. There was no damage, and the lawns were cut, trimmed, and taken care of according to the contract. Since Mr. Klaus is a member of the cemetery committee, he has special interest to do the best job possible. Uh, his bid is only $800 higher than the next lowest bid and is very reasonable. Mr. Klaus is also a resident of Rose Township. The others are not. Uh, thank you for the time listening to the committee. Hope you take our comments into consideration when making your decision. Regards, Renee Kaff, uh, Kraft, uh, Deputy Clerk, Rose Township. Um, I'm on the cemetery committee less than a year, so I'm just kind of new at it. Uh, we spent time treating and scrubbing tombstones in the fall. And I did get to see um, the lack of fall cleanup and uh, the fact that uh, the company was paid for fall cleanup that they didn't perform. Um, I probably wouldn't recommend uh, last year's uh, vendor as well. Um, thanks. Thank you. Rose Township Board, I am a member of your cemetery committee and I urge you not to use AN1, All in One, or Four Seasons as the mowing contractor for the 2022 season. Every committee, committee meeting, there are a list of complaints about Four Seasons. I have even received calls and uh, personally. And um, on several occasions, I've examined BB and Rose Center Cemetery and observed sloppy mowing large missed spots by the mower, and many gravestones not weed whacked. On two field trips to those cemeteries, we saw multiple fresh scratches and gouges on monuments and even fresh chips. The contractor's practice appears to be mowing one day, coming back several days later to edge, and sometimes stretches the edging out to one edging per two mowings. On some of the holidays that families gather to commemorate their loved ones, Memorial Day, Veterans Day, Flag Day, the cemeteries are not mowed or even mowed on those occasions, on the, the holidays. Then there is the leaf removal fa fiasco. A large area of Rose Center was not raked. The area between the fence and the road and a very large area at the south end were not done. Meanwhile, they blew leaves onto neighbors uh, south of Beebe. When they were informed of the two bad jobs, a large crew came the next day to Beebe and blew the leaves into a large pile in Fish Lake Road, effectively blocking the road, and then blew them across the road onto the property of the neighbors to the east. Both neighbors called to complain, and Fish Lake Road is about four feet below the hills on each side and was full of leaves and temporarily blocked. This contractor work is a disaster and should never be used for cemeteries. There was unanimous agreement among the committee to never use them again. I can supply photos of the items in my accusations 
The next low bidder is Tim Claus, an actual Rose Township resident who has had his contract in the past with no performance issues. Oh, and I'm Julia Stern, 1445 Munger Road. Thank you. Warren Hardy, uh, 19425 Hickory Ridge Road. Um, this is concerning a, a petition that's going around, and there's some pretty direct statements on it. Is everybody aware of the petition going around? Is, it, yeah. is that on the um, agenda? I don't believe it is. Should be. It's not. Anyway, are you aware of the petition? I, I'm asking you. Am I okay. aware? Yeah. I'm not sure what you're speaking of, no. You don't? You haven't read it? Okay. I have a few questions because I don't want to sign the petition unless I know they're it's truthful, right? So were you previously an employee of the fire authority? I was, ah. but that's not an agenda were item, you terminated? so I'm not going to answer were questions Were you terminated? Right now. I was. Okay, you were terminated. Were you terminated for cause? Uh, not responding. Okay. <laughs> were you offered a severance agreement? You know what, this isn't Were you offered item. a severance Yes or no? This isn't If you say no, if, okay. This is a Did you accept the severance agreement? No severance. Did you sign a non-disclosure agreement? It's not appropriate for you to ask personal questions. Uh, this is, this is, I'm not asking what she did. It is, that, was, that was 14 years ago. Can we stick did you to the agenda item? Does anybody have a comment on an agenda item? Huh? This Does anybody have a comment item. on an agenda item? This is a business meeting. Okay. Not, not we want to hear it. Yeah, I'm okay. Diane didn't put it down. Now we know that the somebody right, charged it. attorney's fees to Rose Township, and apparently you just approved them, which I don't think is correct. Ought to have the approval of the uh, citizens, and apparently you're not going. You don't have no uh, intention of reimbursing the township. But it seems to me there's a built-in conflict of interest. Have you, do you know the definition of conflict of interest? And I, you probably don't, so I'll read it for you. A conflict of interest is a conflict between the private interests Does anybody else have and a comment the official responsibilities the of, a person, I'm going to move on. of a person in a position of trust. Do you consider yourself to be an official in a posi position of trust? Yes, that's the right answer. <laughs> Whose trust do you think you should earn? The right answer is the citizens of Rose Township. Do you think you have that trust? I don't know. You know what? You, you are out of order here. You can throw you me out. out. I'm not going to allow this circus. You want him to throw me out? You are out of order. 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 If you get rid of our fire department, no one is our saying that property get taxes numbers. are going to go up. You are out of order. I understand what you're doing, but yeah. there are rules for this. There are rules, well, and you are out, out of order. order. Pardon? Do it at public comment. Is that right? Okay. Yeah. I'll wait for public comment. You may do that, but you are out of order for right now. Does anybody else have a comment on an agenda item? I have a question. I believe I'm. Am I allowed to ask questions or these are comments, comments only? Yeah. Okay. No. Being that you are not the employers of the fire department, and did you interview in public the lawyers like the fire department did, or NAFCA did at their meeting in March? No, I, we did not, and we didn't do the attorney for the union. We didn't interview either one that we approved in the last meeting. Okay. But thank you. Does that I mean, I, I mean, it just seemed like it was quite obvious. I'm not in politics there was the, or nothing, we, but the, the way that it was done in for NAFCA was correct, and you just willy dilly hired whoever you wanted. We did. Does anybody have any comments on agenda items? Uh, James Curran, eight four zero Rose Center. James. James Curran, 840 Rose Center. Sorry, here. Thank you. Anybody else? Where'd Pat go? Did she? Okay. We have a quorum. Which is what you all should do. We have a quorum, so cemetery lawn maintenance bid selection is the um, new business A.
So I did read the letters that were also just read to us. Um, I do have some comments to make about them because they're not correct. Well, at least Renee's is not correct. And where she says in 2020 who we hired, that's not the correct company. So I just want to clarify that. Um, well, I, I will say that I went out and um, I looked at, I went out and did look at the lawn um, out here and I did go out to cemetery and look and they did not do a very good job to say the least and I was not happy with these people and you know uh, as a rule as a general rule we try to get the lowest price but sometimes it's it doesn't always work out and I don't think that um, my own opinion is I would not use these people again because they just kind of went out and made a big mess and collected their money and that and I did go and when people complain I don't take people's words. I go out and look at, at it myself. So I went out on the cemeteries. I went out and looked at the Dearborn Park and even in our area here, around here. And I wasn't very happy with them during that um, period of time. So I certainly would agree with um, that these people should not be hired again. And that's just my personal opinion. Right. And that company that you're referencing is... Was it four, four seasons? seasons? Four seasons, and I agree. I wasn't happy with four seasons either. But Renee was wrong with her amount. Uh, I was just looking at this TPC and all in one. TPC was $695 more than all in one. But personally, I would rather pay a Rose Township resident than a Linden resident. Yes. Well, all in one um, wasn't the contractor for 2020, though. They were the year before. Right, and then she's saying they received the contract in 2020, and then she talks about the complaints, and she's talking about a different company, um, just to clarify that. Um, All-in-One does bid here, um, and the Four Seasons, I wasn't happy with. We had them here for the office in the park, and I agree, even though they are the lowest bidder, they have to be the lowest responsible bidder, and I don't think they're responsible. I have. I will comment that um, I. I have. Um, Tim has cut my grass for the last 20 years, and he does a pretty good job. Except when he ran over my tree, and then he um, <laughs> he ran over my tree that I said, and he did reimburse me for it. So, but you know, things happen from time to time. I know he does several other townships. And Tim's on your cemetery committee too, though. When you say that you would not unanimously agreed not to use these other people again, was he part of that vote? No. <coughs> Are you all meeting. right? The problem. Like, are you discussing the? Yeah, we talked cemetery? about. So far, <laughs> let me catch you up. So far, um, we agreed last. Person's better was not. Um, we all agreed we didn't like them, the, the quality of their work. And then in 2020, we didn't use um, all in one for the lowest That's better. what I was going to. You, you owe them an apology for putting this in here. Because it goes into detail. Because they weren't responsible. Here the year before, I believe. They right, wouldn't. but she cites how it was, and she goes on about the complaints, and she has the wrong person she's And Jan Johnson is of. not a resident of our township anymore. She doesn't even own property here. And she still has historical and cemetery records that she hasn't given back to the township. Hmm. No, they're not. They belong to Rose Township. Let's stop, please. Um, she, uh, well, she her house was right over here. She just recently sold it. What was it last year? She, she never lived here. Her residence is on Fish Lake Road. I know where she lives. Okay, so we're discussing wow. the um, cemetery. We have <coughs> three bids. The highest bid is um, TPC Lawn at $10,995 for the cemeteries. I'm going to move to award the cemetery mowing contract to all in one, Matt Murphy, for the 2022 season. Wow. In the amount you are of really insane. 
$10,300. You are nuts! Uh, Look at you people. But that's they not the one that, that you were complaining about, though. They, they, that's not, we're not, not even No, we did have complaints. Oh I have a file God. upstairs um, with some all in one complaints. Um, last year, the file was this thick from Four Seasons. What there are 12 doing? stones damaged. And I said, mm -hmm. I would rather pay a Rose Township resident than a Linden resident. I realize he's a friend of yours and you had him for 20 he's years. Not a and he's a, of yes, mine. he is. I know all about no, it. No, he's not. Yes, he is. I know all about well, it. Well, I think that we should he's go with whoever we're going to do the best Rose job. Rose and I don't say that. That's what I think. Money. 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 It, and it was, what, $695? Big deal. Well, I We I, waste I, a lot of money around I here. I go back far enough to know that Tim Klaus wasn't a stellar employee either. So. Tim Klaus did a hell of a good job, Pat. No I never complaints. had a complaint. I, him. I have complaints when Tim was doing the park, okay, too. Another. Well, for one thing, I would have the Frigmites, and not the Frigmites, but the Automatos removed from the Dearborn Park, the ditch area, multiple times because for whatever reason he couldn't get in there and mow or weed whack or whatever, and it would grow back up, and then he, so it's, he wasn't stellar either. It's not because of him. Well, I, I would I, I would like to give I would like to give Tim a second chance here. He has he hasn't had it in about four or five years. And um, I don't I don't even know if I love them. I feel like I pretty much did that because this wasn't the this wasn't Well, I know, but I know Tim and he's um, I, I and he he tries uh, pretty hard and I would like to give him a second chance. I already chance. made a motion. All right. If there's no second to the bill. Let's let's let the cemetery pick who they want this year. I know it's I know it's not a, it's our not our policy, but and let's see if they do a good job. <coughs> it's it's um, six hundred dollars more than the debtor, and then we'll have somebody else do parks. Then what's parks? I will move to approve the cemetery grass mowing bid to TPC in the dollar amount of $10,995. All right, I'll support that. Thank you. Motion from Miller. Support from Gamka. Could I roll call, please? Miller, yes. Ms. Walls, no. Mr. Gamka, yes. Ms. Scheibsider, yes. Thank you. Motion carries. Next we have, I'm going to make a motion to use um, all-in-one for office and parks in the amount of $5,510. I'll, I'll support that. Motion from Scheib, Snyder, some more support from Gampa. Could I have a roll call, please? Ms. Walls? Yes. Mr. Gamka? Yes. Ms. Miller? Yes. Ms. Scheibsider? Yes. Motion carries. Uh, consideration of Charter Township eligibility is on here. So every year, or every 10 years when they do the census, they, uh, the Secretary of State, if you have over 2,000 or more, um, you become, you are, residents who are eligible to incorporate as a Charter Township. So in the packet, there's some of the differences that between a general law and a charter township. Uh, there's three resolutions that the MTA submits. We can pick one. We can decide to do no action, actually. I think the biggest difference is that we have a we can are allowed to have um, more of a taxable we could tax more, which I don't think we need because it's always been the intention of the board, at least since I've been on it, just to keep the taxes as low as possible. I don't think that's something we need at this point. They've actually lowered the amount because I think it used to be like six thousand people and now it's only two thousand people, so they're making it. Uh, to where more people can become a charter township. I'm really surprised that they lowered that, actually. I know last time it was like 6,000 people when we did this. 
Yeah, so, I'm ready for a motion? Yeah, you got a motion? Uh, I would move to, uh, to adopt the resolution of intent opposing incorporation as Charter Township, Rose Township, Oakland County, Michigan. Oh, oh, second. Motion from Wall, support from Miller. Any other discussion? Oh, well, why don't we just say no action on it? I... Well, at least same? this can be filed and you right. know it's there. I guess that would All be right. the only reason. It's a little okay. bit more. I mean, we didn't even really have to put it on the agenda, but. I know it's come up before. I I remember it came up before. Was it every 10 years? 10 years. Mm -hmm. When you do okay. the census. Mm -hmm. I just didn't see any reason for it. We want to stay a bedroom community. We don't have a lot of um, business here. There's really no reason to become a charter township. We don't have a lot of business coming in. Okay. Anybody else? Can I have a roll call, please? Ms. Walls? Yes. Mr. Gamka? Yes. Ms. Miller? Yes. Ms. Scheibsteiner? Yes. Motion carries. Next we have um, WODA, which is the Western Oakland Transportation Authority. This is something that was presented at my supervisor's meeting to the group. Uh, they have a it's transportation, and they're hoping that we could support them on our letterhead because what they are doing is trying to get a grant, and we would be part of a phase. If you read that, we'd be part of phase two. Um, we're not obligated if we agree. They just want us to show that what communities are interested. This phase two is uh, so much here. Highland or Holly, Rose, Groveland, and Springfield. So far, Springfield has said they are interested in being part of the grant, the raise grant that um, would just it would just be a. Uh, prototype pretty much to see, you know, if we liked it or not, or if people used it and um, things like that. Uh, the grant is to get um, the vehicles and build a building for maintenance. They don't have a place for maintenance. Right now they're doing maintenance of, in a parking lot. Um, some are, you can see there's already communities that belong to it. But the grant will allow operation for three years, but if there's additional funding, it could go longer than that. The municipal fund money that we give to the smart bus um, is something we would obligate to them. Uh, it would probably be out this way 2024, 25, 26 possibly, but they're not sure because they need to see who's interested and then, then they would have to see if they get the grant, of course. I think, aren't they just, are they just asking for a letter of support? Um, of the grant application. Yes. They want it by tomorrow at noon, don't they? Yes. But they don't, we don't have to commit any money. Correct. They just want to see if we're interested. Now, last time I checked on Smart Bus, and, oh, and it's probably been a little while, probably pre-COVID, before I asked how many people use Smart Bus, and not many people do. But we do get that money from them, which is... 3078. Dead in the packet. <clears throat> Um, I think they go further out too, so it might be something our residents could use. I'm always a little skeptical about it being in phase two because sometimes phase two never comes. Well, it I might. Remember it might not. <coughs> when they were talking about wireless for the whole county of Oakland, right? That you never know, happened. You know who got it? <laughs> not phase two, but that's. Yeah, so, so with this, another thing that the supervisors were looking at, uh, the township supervisors were looking at, is <coughs> if they try and bring the RTA back, we can say we have something in place. We don't need you. And then we yeah. okay, possibly, well. if we do have, we can't opt out of that and we get charged, we can say, well, we want it to go towards this. But that's down the road too, because they're always, you know, trying to sneak that in on us. So. Um. So is there a letter 
I was very um, against RTA, <clears throat> just another tax for a bus that only goes to Wixom. Right. And takes people from Ann Arbor to Detroit. I went to uh, it's a waste Lansing. Of money. And big taxes for us out here. I went to Lansing several times to testify against that on behalf of the township. bit ambivalent about it. I mean, we could put a um, we could put a letter of interest and see where that goes, but see what it develops into. I was looking at it, and um, there's nothing too definite there. What does the other board members think? I don't see. You're not interested. You're not interested. No. I don't see why not, honestly, just to see, I mean, it's, if it's paid for and we have no obligation and um, right. it could give us a service for three years and we right. can, you know, see how it goes and see who uses it and well, see if we have the, a need. Yeah, my only concern is that with us being a low population township that whenever these things come through, we're always ignored, it seems like. Well, like I said, phase two. Um, <laughs> ooh, okay. If we're on the other end of it, it might be yeah. different. But they're talking about Rose, Springfield, Holly, and Groveland. All right. But so far, only Springfield has committed. I don't know how their other meetings landed from the time they received this either. But we did discuss it at our last supervisor's meeting. All right, well, let's, um, I'll, I'll move to approve that the, you signed this, Diane? Yeah. Are you the yeah. To uh, authorize the... Township Supervisor Diane Chep Snyder to send a letter of intent to enter into an interlocal agreement with Western Oakland Transportation Authority. Motion from Malls. Any support? Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll support it. I mean, why not? Okay. Support from Gamka. Is there any other discussion? Could I have a roll call, please? Mr. Gamka? Yes. Ms. Miller? No. Ms. Walls? Yes. Yeah. Ms. Scheibsider? Yes. Motion carries. We have proclamation declaring May of 2020 Mental Health Month. Proclamation is in here. I think we do this every year. It's from the um, Oakland County Health Network. Anybody want to make a motion? Um. I make a motion to um, support proclamation declaring May 2022 as Mental Health Month. Support. Motion from Gampa, support from Walls. Any comments, discussion? Can I have a roll call, please? Ms. Miller, yes. Ms. Walls, yes. Mr. Gampa, yes. Ms. Scheibsider, yes. Motion carries. Uh, we have the resolution for the Fire Protection and Emergency Medical Services Millage Ballot Language. The ballot, ballot language is in the resolution. We need to approve the, the language and send it, well, after we approve it, I suppose, if we approve it. Um, be on the August 2nd ballot. It needs to go to them by May 10th by 4 o'clock, so we've got plenty of time if we see any issues with it. I did have several people look at it. Um, the Treasurer's, Oakland County Treasurer's Department, 
I checked my math multiple times. Um, I had our attorney look at it as well. I wanted to make sure everything was in there as far as um, the language. I make a uh, motion to accept the language as written. Support. Okay, so... Could we have a motion to... Well, the three and a half mils is not going to be enough. I know that was Ms. Wall's suggestion. I don't know why none of you want to talk about or even discuss the taxing authority, as I did in two meetings, where Holly Township and Rose Township would both be paying the same amount. The fire department would take it over and handle all the billing and the taxes. 3.5 mils is not going to be enough money. I disagree. 3.5 mils, and we looked at the math, and we looked at the rollback, and we looked at the increases of 4%. Um, the first year, we will collect $1,089,785.70. Um, there won't be a rollback on it this year because we waited till it was expired before we approved it. Um, actually, I would like, if you don't mind changing your motion, to... Adopt. adopt and approve the Rose Township um, okay. Fire Authority. I'll change it to it. Okay. All right, make to adopt and approve the um, fire protection and emergency medical services operating yes. millage language. Operating millage, yes. Just in the resolution. Okay. I just want to make sure we adopt it. Gamka support from, did you support? Yes, I did. I Walls. Did. So the language is, shall the Township of Rose be authorized to levy 3.5 mils on taxable property within the Township over a period of six years, starting December 2022 and expiring December 2027, inclusive for the purpose of funding fire protection and emergency medical services, including advanced life support and all related operations, wages, benefits, and capital expenditures? Question mark. Approval of the above proposal will allow the township to levy up to 3.5 mils for the purpose of continuing to provide fire protection and emergency medical service, including advanced life support and all related operations, wages, benefits, and capital expenditures. Approval of this proposal would allow a tax limitation increase and approximate levy of 3.5, I'm sorry, 300... $3.50 per $1,000 of taxable value on all taxable properties within the township. A property with a taxable value of $100,000 would be taxed each year approximately $350 for the millage. It is estimated that this proposal would result in the authorization to collect approximately $1,089,785.17 in the first year the millage is approved and levied. A portion will be distributed to the North Oakland County Fire Authority. So I have a motion from GAMPA, support from Walls. Any other discussion? Well, probably going to be even more with inflation running like it is. I mean, up in during most of the 2000s, our inflation was running 0, 1 percent. I know that even went down one year. I was inflation running 10, 12, 13 percent. It's going to hit that 5 percent cap every year. So there should be more money there than even I estimated. Just, a, just an observation. Mm -hmm. Well, and you have the rollback as well, and like I said, it won't be affected the first year. And this is actually, the dollars amount's a little different because I did it on the new um, assessed value. Or taxable value. Anybody else have anything to say? <coughs> Could I have a roll call, please? Ms. Walls? Yes. Mr. Gamka? Yes. Ms. Miller, no. Ms. Scheib Snyder? Yes. Motion carries. Have a resignation letter from Peter J. Stauffer for the um, Zoning Board of Appeals. 
I'd like to move to accept. Did you make the motion? I did. I'll support. Support from Malls, motion from Scheibsnyder. <coughs> Any discussion? Roll call, please. Ms. Falls? Yes. Mr. Gamka? Yes. Ms. Miller? Yes. Ms. Scheibsnyder? Yes. Motion carries. I think we skipped G and H. Yeah. Go back and do G and H. Oh, because they're not in here. That's right. Wait a minute. I apologize. That's mm -hmm. The uh, North Oakland County Fire Authority yeah. proposed budget. Yeah, uh, the chief gave us the first look at the budget, but I'd share it with you. We won't be voting on anything at this point, but we can discuss it or make comments. Has this been presented to the NACFA board yet yes. to discuss? Yes, we looked at it, first looked at it. It's in the packet that everybody has in here. This is the budget. I just didn't remember you going over it at the last meeting. You don't remember it? No. Mm -mm. Yeah, we went over it last meeting. We talked about 4% increase for the contribution. She's saying she doesn't remember us talking at the NACA meeting, and we did oh, discuss yeah. it. We went over it. Mm -hmm. So I, I think it looks good personally. Does anybody have any comments that they would like us to bring to the table? Is what I'm asking for. No. no. Okay. Debbie, do you have any comments you would like us to bring to the table? Oh, Miles doesn't remember that. Well, I did. Okay, let's not. I ask. didn't remember it. It was me that said I didn't remember going well, them going wrong. Okay, the budget um, the so no, not for meeting. I do the meeting. We don't really need a motion. We were just going to discuss and see what the board thought. I thought it'd be good to sh share it with you as well. The next thing we have is the um, on the North Oakland County Fire Authority requesting four hundred thousand dollars in the, our the money, which is American Rescue Plan money and uh, funds, I should say. Now I remember the meeting, Diane, and it was two hundred thousand coming from Holly Township and two hundred thousand coming from Rose Township. Correct. So is that where your total of four hundred thousand dollars is? Correct. In the packet, you have a letter, but that didn't make it in the packet. But I right. supplied it to it. you. That there was, it was uh, $200,000 from Holly Township. There's a letter in there. Right. Mm -hmm. That's why I played from like March. that. Yeah. So between the two municipalities, $400,000. And then there was a, another $200,000 that NACVA was going to contribute. And there is actually another $500,000 for a grant that uh, NACVA just uh, got awarded for. So we haven't decided what to do with our money, and I just thought we should probably discuss this as well. The two ambulances they're getting from Slacken's office was originally written for two ambulances at $200,000 each and $100,000 for the classroom upgrades. So there's a little, that's a little change since we discussed this because the ambulance came a little bit higher than what uh, I believe they expected because this takes a year to get awarded from the time you submit mm -hmm. the grant. So they, those did go up. Well, that's what the ARPA funds are for. <clears throat> well, yeah, you can use them. I didn't actually go line by line to see exactly if everything on here is, you know, I mean, we could pick and choose what we think it would be a good... Um, thing for the community. I, I like the idea that we have the ambulances and coming in. I know uh, Mr. Cullis and myself wrote in support of that. We could, um, I believe the cots aren't going to be with it because of the cost now. I have a letter from Chief Linson here that I asked him some questions to make it easier for us to 
make some decisions. So because they cost the whole grant money, they're, they're not going to get the, room, the money for the classrooms, I believe, which was $100,000 for the classroom improvements. I think we should decide, we haven't had a chance to discuss what we're going to do with our money and I, I think we need to have a chance to discuss what we want to do with the money. Yeah, I, I, I can see that too because it's not like we get grant money uh, that often no. as a township. What was our total grant money? 600 and some thousand? Yeah, it actually went up a little bit. It was like 672, and then they there was communities that didn't want it, so they divided it among the other communities that did want it, and so we got another like $6,000. Well, I know the uh, ARPA money is for emergency services, and they obviously need it. That I wouldn't one. want my ambulance breaking down because it's old if I'm on the way to the hospital. So Right. We've already been awarded two ambulances. Right, but I, I know the NACFA does need the money. <clears throat> well, I, I agree with Pat. We can wait till next month and see what else and, and have a workshop and discuss it at our next meeting a little bit more in depth about what we plan on doing. But absolutely, I think we should give some money towards <coughs> it. I think it's a great, I, I like the idea of the Lucas devices where there's one on every ambulance. Um, right, I like the. Though. Hmm? They have four ambulances and they only have two. Correct. So, I like the idea of that. That's thirty-five thousand dollars for that. Um, Want to make sure we have, if we have new ambulances, we have the correct type of cots that go in them. Um, since they're short, the money for the um, classroom, because of the cost of the ambulances being more than expected, I. I think that would be, I, I don't even know if we're obligated for that because I talked to this Mrs. Alyssa Slotkin's aide um, yesterday or the day before, and they're not sure if we're going to be obligated to, you know, pay the difference or not at this, at least yesterday. Um, she wasn't sure yet, so. Well, I know this letter is from uh, what, March 17th from Holly Township. Rose Township Board of Trustees, please be advised Holly Township Board of Trustees unanimously approve $200,000 in ARPA funds for North Oakland County Fire Authority capital equipment purchases subject to the approval of $200,000 in ARPA funding to the North Oakland Fire Authority for capital equipment purchases by Rose Township Board of Trustees. That doesn't mean that we have to do it immediately. Right, their meeting was right after the NACFA meeting, so that's when they discussed this, and then I was given this letter by the township supervisor at our supervisor's meeting. So that's why I included it in the packet. We're trying to put us in a corner so that we look bad if we don't get the money right away. No, I don't think that's the case. Yeah, 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 it is. I would request, and I hate to interrupt, but I think you need to uh, have the... I, I, don't, I don't think you should. I don't think you should interrupt. I think she should. I don't think you should. She's the uh, Holly Township uh, clerk. She's not. I didn't put any words in her mouth. I couldn't see what. What did you say? Excuse me. The fire department should present to the, the Rose Township board so that the board understands what they're asking for, mm -hmm. and there is timelines on it. Right. Thank you. I'll second that. <laughs> I don't know why every time we have a meeting that you feel that you have to object when it comes yeah. to knock for the. Because she's honest. Right thing. She's not. Part of what she said at the NAFTA meeting is that it will save what this new business is about. It will save the taxpayers' money. You are right. That out. Everything we would do would save the taxpayers' money. I was there. You were there. She was there. He was there. So, do we want to postpone it? I mean, you guys are welcome to talk about it. The chief is here. I don't. That's fine with me. Um, well, we have. Let's hear from the chief. Yeah. Is yeah. he still here? Yeah. I mean, we only get so many, so much, I mean, when's the last time Rose Township got a grant? So it's like, you know, uh, we need to think about what we really want to do with this. 
Um, yeah, I can I can answer whatever I, I'm able to that you have for me. So when we get the ambulances, are they going to have the correct type of cuts? You said that there was going to be a different cut. They're bigger. They are easier to lift. They're easier on the back. So when we originally did the grant, um, obviously the cost of everything was much lower, including the ambulances. Um, so when we actually got the grant, we were awarded it last month. We went back to update our quotes that we had originally gotten on it and found out that not only did the cost of the ambulance go up significantly, that the cots that go into the new ambulances have been mandated differently now. So our cots that we currently have in the ambulances we would be getting rid of, we can't use them in these two new rigs for safety rules that they've implemented over the last couple of years. So on top of the increase in the price of the ambulance, we also have to get new cot systems. Now, while we're pricing COD systems, one of the things that uh, we've wanted to get was the battery-powered COTS because it alleviates a lot of the back injuries that we see in the fire department. So those aren't included with the ambulance? No, no, no. So once we knew that we had to have this all-encompassing package with the new quotes for the ambulances and the COTS, it took the price up to 250000 per unit, including the COTS for each unit. The original price that we had written for was 200000 which would have been 400000 leaving 100000 that we were going to put into upgrades on our classroom for all the classes and academies that we have. So now that we've gotten the grant, we've gotten updated quotes, we are at that $500,000 threshold with just the two ambulances. The stipulations of the grant, because we said we're going to use this money to buy two ambulances with the cots and upgrades to the classroom, we are still obligated to make those upgrades to the classroom. We just don't have the uh, extra hundred thousand dollars, if you will, from the okay. grant. Rather than go back and try to argue all of this, I knew the townships were each getting ARPA funds. Um, I believe, like you said, six hundred and some. I believe Holly Township is right around there. Uh, they are more than um, than uh, geared towards emergency services, vehicles, what have you. I sat down and drew out what our capital outlay was for the next couple of years of equipment that we are behind in purchasing in the first place. You guys have a list of that. And I, I established it five or six years out. In the first two years, beginning this current year, we had several pieces of equipment, capital equipment, including a heavy rescue truck, a brush truck. Um, I think there was some other miscellaneous stuff. I, I don't have the, my notes with me to recall it all, but it... it Thank you. Um, these uh, Lucas devices, so, so there was several eight or nine items over the next two budget years, well this year and next year, that we would need to somehow get funding for, whether it be a grant, pay for it out of pocket, whatever. So based on that we were getting the 500000 you guys were each getting ARPA funds. If we were to combine everything together and, and request $200,000 from the townships out of their ARPA money, we have... 270000 ish in our capital account right now in our savings account, we could kick in 200000 All of that combined would give us $1,100,000. With that $1,100,000, we could get both of the ambulances with the new cots, the upgrades to the classroom, a brush truck that is 35 years old now that needs to get replaced, uh, a new heavy rescue that is... 26 years old, 27 years old, um, and the other loose items that, that were discussed in this. So we could literally, in the next six months, if we get this funding, take care of all of, or the majority of the capital items that we were going to need to find money for somehow in the next year. And that's where I, I said it wouldn't cost the taxpayers a penny. Anybody have questions? She said you locked in the cost of the ambulance. We did. I signed something. Thank you.
And you're, you, because you put the training room on the grant, excuse me, <coughs> you, you have to do that? As far as the grant yes. is concerned, they, we requested money for two ambulances and room upgrades. That's what they gave us money for. So we have to do those improvements. And, and, and that can't change because of the change in the, the cost of the ambulances? No. The only other option to do if we don't pay this, pay the extra amount to do the upgrade classrooms is we only get one ambulance. Mm -hmm. So are you sure that? Because when I talked to uh, her aide the other day, she wasn't sure that's how that was going to be. Are you positive on that? Laura has no clue about this grant. I've talked to her many times. She doesn't even know what the process is going to be and how they're going to get a hold of us. Are we going right. to draw downs on it? Whatever. She told me that too. Any federal grant that I've ever seen, and we've done hundreds of them, if you request items A, B, and C for this much money, you get granted that much money, you are expected to fulfill items A, B, and C. If they cut your grant dollars back, because for whatever reason, we only got $400,000, and obviously, then we have an argument. Hey, we only got 400000 but they, they more than fulfilled the amount that we requested, so we have to. And although, you know, I know you talked, you said you talked to Laura, uh, I don't believe Laura, this is, this is new to them. I know. This is their first year. And so uh, I wouldn't trust any of that. I, I, this, this is a, a federal grant. It's just not under FEMA. It's under, but it's still a federal grant. Right. So. Okay. So Rose Township still doesn't know if, if Holly Township's the one that's making the noise about getting out. We haven't ever said anything about that. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Getting out of what? Not Oh, we're on another topic now? No, this is all. <laughs> I, I know. I, I'm asking. Are you talking about something else? Is this... But if we give give all this money, and then we have to split up, I they're don't... the ones that are talking about splitting up. I, I I don't think we even need to go down that road. I think that was past Everybody us. Everybody else is. I think like that. Everybody else is Jeremy. But. But to whoever just said that's point, okay, so let's say that does happen, which I, I hope there to God it doesn't that happen. But let's say that does happen yeah. down the road, okay? It's true. And that happens. The bylaws say that if it dissolves, everything gets split 50-50, so you're, you're going to get whatever investment you put in back, right? So if we... So it is a two-year process to dissolve. I know that. I've been sure. with the fire department a long time. Oops. Oops. Yeah, she knows. She's yeah. been recording secretary for a couple decades. Oops. Oops. Back to when it wasn't, when Holly Town, when Holly Village pulled out, I've been the recording secretary forever for the fire board. Um, if we give money, can we choose off that list what we want it to go for? Well, the list of items were the items that were most needed to get replaced. I, 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 what do you, what, I mean, it takes care of seven of the nine items that are listed for the next two years. Well, I mean, what you want? Do you, are you saying you want to pick off of the yeah. list of what we uh, get? Brush three. Well, well, brush three is a 1998, and brush one is a. 1985. Why would I replace a bus truck? Because you know nothing about firefighting. Oh, stop it. Don't. No. A bunch of fools. A bunch of fools administrating a fire department. And why would I be inclined to give knock for anything with all the amount of money? Disrespect for board members' rudeness, lying, manipulating. I used to be a big fan of the fire department. I still uh, feel close to the fire department. And I've given them money. <laughs> Ms. Walls, I'm not here to get in a political debate with you. I, I, I was here, I made a statement at our last board meeting, not for board meeting. I gave a proposal. I outlined it in detail and told you what the benefits were going to be. I know. And it's up to you guys as a board to decide whether or not you want to go what, through with that. You know, and the people voted for you, so you should do what you know, we well, would like for you to do. I have listed, I have listed the needs of the most important capital equipment that I believe that our department needs, 
in a way to get it with no cost. Now it, the, the ball's in your court. I mean, that's... And if the assets were divided, it would okay. be him doing it. So, um... You want to... Board, do you want to think this over a little bit? What do you want to do? Well, I would like to have a, a chance to see what we, we need to do with it for our own buildings and... Let's turn a thing over. Okay. Are you trying to get a car that's over five years old? Please, please. You people couldn't even turn the lights on at the fire station, let alone yeah, manage the fire station. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could. That's really yeah, I could. I've supported the fire department oh, over yeah, the years. I can tell right now. And anybody who says any different speaking like you're supporting them. You need to support them okay. now. It's irrelevant for past. Not with all the disrespect that I've had, they, you know. Disrespect. Most, you most, most, you no, I respect. Disrespect. disrespect. You earn your respect. All right, let's let's. I'm going to postpone this decision. Like you told me to fuck off a minute ago. Okay, guys. Hey, 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 hey. Let's, what? Let's, let's be. Not what she was. Zero. That was your signal to. No. I have no idea what that even meant. I did look. I didn't know what you. Ms. Schneider, is there anything else I can answer for you guys right now? Pardon me. Is there anything else I can answer? No. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. There was there's a staff vehicle for the assistant chief is the number one thing on here. There's a staff vehicle for the EMS coordinator. That's the number two thing. There's two Lucas devices. Um, there's floors, epoxy at both station. Obviously, we need to throw in the uh, because we didn't know about the um, classroom at this time, so the classroom's on there. It did have grant potentials, but so we'd have to kick in for that. Um, and then we go down to 2024 brush truck, which NACFA was going to contribute um, another 20000 uh, 200000 as well, bringing the total up to $1,100,000. 100000 Do we want to postpone this and think about it? It's kind of... Or do we want to pick and choose, or what do we want to do? Thank you. I'm going to go with the community. But well, we got time. Why don't you just why don't we do it in May? Postpone to May. Yeah. Okay. Um, next we have we already did the resignation. So, how many cemetery flagpole. Restoration. So there's two bids for the cemetery flagpole. Yes, we uh, have to replace the flagpole. It's in Rose Center Cemetery. The other one broke, and it's been repaired. Mr. Klaus repaired it, but it's it really needs to be replaced. And it's one of Deals. Uh, Deals are the original ones that put it out there, and they oh. are very happy that we will replace it. Um, so the current company that does all of our flags is Rocket Enterprise, and their bid was $1,665. The other one was um, Flagpoles, etc., and Holly, and their bid was $1,742.99. So I would suggest we go with Rocket Enterprise, and that bid is $1,665 for a new flight. And there's your solar lighting, your whole uh, description on your uh, bid. Did we get in, um, any insurance money for this because this was part of the car accident? No, it wasn't. didn't have anything to do with car accident. Oh, when I showed up after the car accident, nope, the flight the was flight goes down here, hair. the truck flipped over here. The, this flagpole is just old. It's been there forever. So the flag so it snapped in pole half. happened to snap in half the same at the same time. Correct. Well, no, not at the same time, but it was just old and rusted out and fell apart. 
car accident was in February, and that truck rolled five times in the cemetery. Right, and the, the flag was bent at that time because I went to... It didn't look. go anywhere near the flagpole. The flagpole is down that way. The cemetery, where it rolled, is down on the end. All right. $1,665. Make a motion for Rocket Enterprise to supply a flagpole as described for the Rose Center Cemetery. Any support? I made the motion. Right? Oh, you made the motion? Yeah. I thought I just made it. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, if you want to make it, go ahead. I'll support then. Okay. Thank you. Is your motion the same as mine? A little different. Okay, so motion for Miller support from Shibe Snyder. Can I have a roll call, please? Miller, yes. Ms. Walls, yes. Mr. Gamka? Yes. And Ms. Shibe Snyder? Yes. Thank you. Okay, motion carries. Uh, we have announcements. The Planning Commission meeting is May 5th. At 7 p.m., zoning the Board of Appeals meeting would be May 3rd at 7 p.m. if there's business. No. What? No, I don't think they had anything. I thought, I I thought Dave canceled. Well, never mind. I'm talking about May. Right. Right. May 3rd. That's the day of the election. Right. So I thought he canceled it. Oh, so we canceled because of the election. Okay. Uh, NACFA board meeting April 18th, 7 p.m. at Rose Township offices. The assessing office is Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. You can contact Rob Doyle at 248-858-2179 or doylr at oakville.com. The township board regular meeting is May 11th at 7 p.m. Cleanup day is Saturday, May 14th at 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Election is May 3rd. Uh, the No Has Collection event is April 30th from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. at 1200 North Telegraph Road. That's the first collection of the year. It's free for residents of Rose Township. Miscellaneous reports, not for report. Paul, do you have anything? No. Okay, I don't really either. Uh, planning Commission. Well, that was Glenn, right? Yeah, he's not here, so. Hi, Harry. Holly, are you youth assistant? No report. No report? Zoning Board of Appeals. It was canceled. Park and Racks. I'm still waiting to see if we're receiving the grant money for the removal of the autumn, autumn, autumn olives at Dearborn Park, as well as putting in some native plants from the SISMA and through Oakland Park County Parks. Um, I also submitted a grant request for um, accessible to all play area at Dearborn Park with a... Uh, with a parking pad for wheelchair access, a concrete path, uh, a gazebo with a ramp, musical play equipment that's accessible for all, and a spinning playground equipment with a, a concrete loop going around and back into the parking lot. And these, these would also access the parking, uh, the picnic tables that are there as well in the current parking area except it would have a concrete pad. I just submitted that the Sunday that it was due. It's the same grant that uh, we're getting from the um, ambulances from that same line there. Yeah. So instead of giving money to the fire department, you're going to give money to Dearborn Park. Is that your grant? It's a grant. I applied for a grant. It's a grant, but you can divert it any way you want. You were talking about diverting the funds. For the fire department? Go ahead. No. That's not the case. 
Um, I, I, I do want to talk about the election, if you back up there for when you're done. You want to talk? Okay, that's not a problem. Uh, the Heritage Committee, wait, where are we at? I'm sorry. The Heritage Committee, we are working on events for the summer and fall, mainly um, some educational things, some family events that we're planning. And then you want to do election? Yeah, I just wanted to mention on April 4th, I went to um, the AP government class, Mr. Coggins' AP government class at Holly High School. I go every year and I recruit the students from National Honor Society and AP government. So I've got several of those. We had training here on Thursday, and uh, a lot of them will be working the election. It's kind of hard to find people to work for the, the elections anymore, so um, I have a new group. I still have my college students that used to be my previous election inspectors. I've been doing this for about 10 years now. So they will, you'll see some new faces at the election uh, at the school on May 3rd. They're great, and they catch on immediately, do a great job. And I appreciate them. That's all I had to say. Okay. Uh, I s spent the last three weekends at the offices with the painters uh, as we tried to finish the project with as little disruption to the offices. Uh, they have completed it, and uh, most of the items have been hung up and returned to their original places. I was really pleased with the professionalism of the, the group, and um, I was told we were first on the calendar for the exterior painting um, as soon as it gets warm. And that's all I have. Thank you. And we have brief public comments, comments only. Please limit your comments to three minutes. There you go. First, I'd like to say it's great to see all these people here come to these meetings. I know nobody in here told you that, but it's fantastic to have this large of a group. It kind of keeps people to do what they're supposed to do. My name is Will Love. I live on Munger Road. I'm addressing this board tonight to give my personal opinion of what's been going on. I've noticed in the past that the leaders of this board seem to have their own agenda instead of doing what the majority of the community would like. They seem to be following their own interests or agenda at times. I don't necessarily blame only the council for this. I also blame the community for not attending the meetings on a regular basis. I know it's difficult to do. People have family and work life to attend to. We would all like to think we elect people to this board and that they will have the best interest of the people at heart. But things get mixed up. Outside influences, personal endeavors, they can all get in the way. You may even think you're doing the right thing, but it's not what the majority of the people of this community would like to have done. It, it is... Sorry. But all too often when comments are made, they're only silenced. Crickets is what you hear. On numerous occasions, I've personally made comments in these meetings, and there never seems to be any feedback from this board. I don't expect any of you to agree with me, but feedback is essential if you think there is something that I don't know or do not understand. It is your responsibility to, to reach out in any way you can to as many people as you can to be sure you're doing what the majority of this community would like. And at the same time, if you feel that myself or any other person is missing the point, you need to inform us of where we are in error of understanding an issue. I realize you have your Robert's Rule of Order, and you got to have that to be able to make a final decision without interruption when you are in the voting stage. But why can't there be a discussion about what's going to be voted on before you get to that stage. Perhaps a discussion about the issue during the comment stage before the meeting and you interact with the people at the same time. The things going up for vote could be brought up and discussed beforehand that way and people would be able to 
have an understanding of why and what you're voting for. It may require a longer meeting or even a second meeting on a different day, but the public needs to have input and discussion of the issues. And this needs to happen before the vote is taken. This also gives the council the opportunity to let people know the way each of you feel about an issue and why. This could take place weeks or even months before the vote is taken. Democracy is slow on purpose. It's so that the wish of the involved people will have the opportunity to state their opinion and be heard by those that they had elected. It is one of the cornerstones of a democracy. When people are left out, not allowed to give their opinion, it becomes a dictatorship. There are numerous ways you could do this. You could possibly call some people on the phone. you got numbers. Maybe send out some flyers with your taxes to let them know what you're thinking about or any other mailings you send out. You could even go out and talk to people on something besides an election year, get their opinion. Knock on some doors, maybe. Maybe even set some times during the days of the week when you're going to be in the office so when people come in, they know you're here. They can have a conversation about it.